you. My name is Bill Potvin, P-O-T-V-I-N. I live at Glendale Meadow Lane in Harrisville, which is a piece of Morrowville. Um, so Mr. Nyland gave a very nice presentation tonight, and, and, and we've seen that before. Uh, and, and frankly, um, a lot of the information in there is uh, misleading, uh, not correct. Um, the first thing that comes to my mind is that he talks about the savings that this plan is going to generate, uh, and that's been debunked. In fact, under oath, uh, he admitted to a mistruth as it related to that. Um, so let's make sure that we understand the facts. Um, it, it, it's a point was made that uh, water is not used for cooling, it's an air-cooled plant. Well, they're using an awful lot of water for something. I mean, whether it's cooling or flushing toilets, um, there's thousands and thousands of gallons that are needed. Uh, and, and, and then he makes a point of uh, 15,000 gallons a day. We have 100 days storage. Wow, isn't that great? So you don't run a truck for 100 days, but when you use up all that storage, you've got to replenish 2 million gallons. That's about 235 truckloads right there. When Invenergy came to Boroughville, early on they said that they wanted to be a good neighbor, and if they weren't wanted, they would leave. They wouldn't go forward with this. Um, I'm not sure how you deliver that message and, and how we get these people to live up to what they said, um, but they're still here and we're still fighting and, and we're still um, looking and listening to things that don't always turn out to be true. I drove here down Route 102, and I'll tell you what, sending those tractor trailers up and down 102 to get here would be unbelievable. And as unbelievable, unbelievable as that is, I'd like to just paint a little picture for everyone about what will happen in Pasco. First of all, when this plant runs on oil, it will use two million gallons in under four days. Think about that. That's 235 truckloads of oil going through these narrow roads. If you think 102 is narrow, you should see the route to this plant through Pasco with two 90 degree turns for these tractor trailers. The houses are 15, 20 feet off the road and they're gonna put these trucks through there. <clears throat> I am not aware of any plant, and perhaps there is one, and I'd love to know it, of this size that trucks in water and trucks in oil. And so if you want to be a good neighbor, you back out. You know, it's wrong. It's not set up right. It didn't work out the way you wanted it to work out. This is not a good deal for Charleston. It is certainly not a good deal for Boroughville, and it's not a good deal for anyone, any citizen in the state of Rhode Island. Thank you.